So the next step, step six, is test and learn. Um, I would advocate to test everything. I kind of mentioned this earlier, but test even the color of the button or the format. Um, I always tend to lead with content optimization first, making sure that I can get the, the, the eye path down where it needs to, I can get the, the content optimized, and then I focus on graphics. Um, the main reason I do that uh, is because content is cheaper to recreate than a new graphic or a new uh, landing page or something like that on structure, and it doesn't take as much time. We do have the luxury of being a smaller marketing department, so if we need to optimize a landing page today, we can optimize it today, get it approved today, and it can be up tomorrow. Um, it doesn't take a long period of time if we're working with content. Graphics, we actually do have to go through a larger process. Um, so that's kind of one, um, one piece to note. And then um, running A-B split test campaigns um, as well. Uh, we run A-B tests on everything. We've actually gone so far as we have a custom CMS, um, and our website team has built that for us. We actually now, every single page you visit on our site is multivariate paging. So you might see something today that's completely different tomorrow, um, and, or the, you might, I might see something, and then Daniel might see something completely different, and it's because of the fact that we want to be able to A-B test everything that we're doing and get real-time analytics and not have to wait weeks and weeks for these tests to come back so that we can see it. Uh, so that's something that we did do. We're actually multivariate testing our homepage um, in the next couple of weeks, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, here is actually a test uh, of a landing page layout. Uh, on the left-hand side, you have the control. Uh, this is our old graphical template. Everything but the button on the content is the same, um, and so it's basically testing the graphics. Um, and, and kind of showing you the difference there. Treatment A was our new landing page that we were rolling out. It's not my favorite landing page. I think green on green is a little difficult to, to see. We've since uh, worked to change that, um, but this is just at the time what we had as far as a test. And the, um, the increase was 152% increase in conversion uh, from 6.9% to 17.5%, which in our book is a massive conversion rate. We usually don't see anything um, above like the six, seven percent range. And can um, you define that conversion rate there for us? Yeah, sure. So this conversion rate is actually someone filling out a form and hitting, um, in this case, the register button, which I'm going to go back and change that now that I've listened to some more of the sessions, <laughs> uh, but the register button. And so when they actually took the action to register for the webinar, this would have come off of an email. So the email, they've already clicked on the email, they've hit the landing page, now they're read, they've listened and looked, and it's a webinar that we're doing, so they've read uh, the, the landing page and now they're filling out the form. Uh, so that's what this conversion rate is, to actually register. And we have um, about 70% of the people that register for our webinars actually attend them, which is a, it's a pretty good ratio.